Get writing now for kids. Story beginning cliches and how to do it better. Welcome back everyone. Today we start a new topic for a new month and that topic is cliched beginnings. First up, what is a cliche? Well, it's something that has been so overused and is so unoriginal that it becomes boring. No one wants to start their story like that, do they? Or do they? Yes, it's a good idea to avoid cliches if you can, but that doesn't mean that you can never use them. You just have to find an original way of doing that. And that's what this month is all about. The first cliched beginning we're going to use is waking up in the morning, usually by means of an alarm clock, and thinking about the day ahead. That is quite boring, isn't it? This exact situation would be a bad one to use. Waking up to a phone call is also pretty overused. However, that doesn't mean that you can never have a character wake up at the beginning of a story. You just have to make it more memorable. You need to do a little of the lateral thinking we talked about in the six word story series. Why not pause this video for a minute and write down as many unusual ways of waking up as you can think of. See if you can manage 10 because as we already know, your first idea is the same one everyone else will have. Do you have a list? Good. Now, here's one of mine. I think it was the wind battering my ears at several hundred miles an hour that woke me up. What? Putting someone into an unusual situation brings up lots of questions we want to know the answers to, such as, is this person falling through the air, on a magic carpet, or something even weirder? There's no way of knowing without reading further, and that is the point of a first line, to hook you into the story. Here's another one. The giant hands shook her head so violently that her first thought on waking was, I'm going to be sick. Well, that could be a real giant. Or it could be a Wallace and Gromit style alarm clock. Or, who knows? If you add a story element into that first line, without explaining it, people are sure to want to read more. Okay, one final example. Simon decided that opening his eyes would be the worst decision ever. This isn't quite so out there, but there are many questions this line poses. Why not pause the video for a moment and try writing down all the questions you have on reading this? How many did you come up with? Quite a few, I imagine. So, what does all this tell us about writing about waking up? Let's put it all together. First off, don't make your audience yawn by mentioning an alarm clock. Try putting your character in a strange situation, something that wouldn't normally be happening when you wake up. Or, add an unexplained element of the story something that hints at what's to come, but doesn't give the answer. And 
above all, even if it's not so fantastical, make it intriguing. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Next week, we'll be taking another cliched story beginning and giving it the works. Make sure you don't miss it.